Postville, Iowa. Six months ago, this sleepy town nestled amid cornfields gained national attention after the government conducted a massive immigration raid at the local kosher slaughterhouse. Hundreds were arrested, and those who weren't found themselves without jobs and dependent on the generosity of local churches. But over the last few weeks, the situation in Postville has deteriorated further. The slaughterhouse, owned by the kosher meat producer Agriprocessors, filed for bankruptcy protection on November 4th, and its troubles have cast a long shadow over the town. Its former CEO sits in jail, accused of a host of crimes related to his management of the packing plant. And then last week, the plant ceased production entirely. There is no money. Most of the rabbis hadn't been paid for 10 weeks. Um, they're in the same boat as these people that come from Indianapolis and Chicago and, and, and Fort Wayne and Knoxville and Charlottesville and McAllen, Texas. They're, in the same boat. The plant shutdown has hurt everyone in Postville, Jew and Gentile alike. Among the several hundred Jews of Postville, most adults worked directly for the plant as ritual slaughterers. Others worked for various organizations that have sprung up to service the community, a synagogue, a yeshiva, and a kosher grocery among them. Rashi Rasis is the principal of the Jewish day school. Like many Postville Jews, she declined to be interviewed on camera. I've lived here for 13 years, 13 and a half almost. People for the first time are going on to food stamps and Medicaid and unemployment. Um, there's a big Jewish heart out there. Some people have maybe personal relatives that are helping them. We have been trying to raise money. It's not been going as fast as we'd like it to, but as awareness gets out, hopefully more will come in. In the meantime, the community languishes in uncertainty. Paychecks aren't coming in, food is scarce, and anger is mounting. The federal government had a de don't ask, don't tell policy, then woke up one day and decided that they're going to enforce a uh, flawed immigration policy. In the aftermath, we ended up with a man-made tsunami. Whether people want to blame the Rabashkins or blame the federal government, it's a clear indication of how disastrous our government and policymakers have mishandled this whole immigration issue. It's my hope that people will recognize that at the end of the day, the people of Postal are people, and that we need the support to be rehabilitated and uh, put our town back together again. And they should be very vocal with their local elected officials to find a meaningful, humane policy and deal with immigration in a, in a consistent and ethical fashion. Reporting from Postville, Iowa, this has been Ben Harris for JTA.